It was a grim discovery, but one man's accident is bringing closure to a family. Now this comes after human remains were found inside a van at the bottom of the James River. State police and Amherst County deputies also found two other vehicles. Yeah, 10 News reporter Magdala Lusant takes us to the search and spoke with the man who's behind the recovery. Pulling these cars out of the river is not easy. It takes a special team to do this, and it's become a show for the community who brought lawn chairs out here to watch. Get all that air out of that corner. It's not every day you can watch the state police search and recovery team at work. In the hot sun Wednesday, I got into their boat to watch divers recover cars out of the James River at Monacan Park for nearly two hours. Tell me what position that car's in. Is it upside down? Eric Lordahl is the reason why divers are here. I've been here every day just watching the prog progress. You know, the state police are on it. They're absolutely amazing to what they're doing. Let me know if it's coming up. Last Thursday, Lordahl accidentally lost his truck in the river while loading his boat onto the ramp. When divers found it, they saw three other cars nearby. My misfortune brought fortune to, you know, somebody else, hopefully, anyway. The Amherst County Sheriff's Office says one of the vehicles, a white 2001 Dodge van, belonged to Thomas Sprinkle, a man who had been missing since 2013. Investigators found human remains inside. And after, you know, seven years of uh, Mr. Sprinkle being missing, you know, that suspicion was there by not only us, but his family. And that's something important to us as, you know, as we work through this now is to, is to give his family the closure they deserve. As for these other cars, one of them is a Jaguar. There's no telling how long it's been sitting 15 feet deep in the river, but police are determined to find out. That's crazy. Like every, I come here all the time, like I said, three to four times a week, and you're right over top of all these vehicles, and they're there, and you don't even know it. In Amherst County, I'm Magdala Lusant, 10 News, working for you. Investigators say they will look up DMV records to find the owners and where the cars came from.